Hey guys, here we are. Where we're going to basically be doing a tutorial on how to progress through the Tales Tale of Kingdoms mod. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to quickly start a new world. Okay, make sure you got your generate structures on, so forth, etc., etc. Now you're, and as you can tell, I have the RPG level mod on too. Personally, I think it adds on to the gameplay. Okay, um, so as you can tell, it wants me to start a new conquest. So, um, we're going to anyways, because I can't probably show you how to progress through the game without starting a new one. So. So here we are. Okay, and as you can tell, this is the kingdom. Kind of let it load so the lag kind of disappears. Okay, where's the entrance? Okay, well, first off, let's get some wood. Because you basically do start off in the basics of this game, so. Kind of a boring process because you're just starting out like most people do, but. Still. Okay. So here we are. Is this entrance? Yep. Okay. Okay. So I've already I already know where we're going and everything. So this is the survivor. Basically, um, when you're rescuing civilians or, um, yeah, civilians from burned down and attacked villages, you bring them to him, and you'll right-click, and he'll tell the guildmaster. And you'll figure out who the guildmaster is pretty quick here. This is the, um, city builder. He's, um, basically, he, basically you talk to him after you complete this, so. And now, not what I wanted to do. Okay, here we are. You can talk to this guy to sleep. So it kind of eliminates having to get gather the supplies to make a bed, which is kind of nice. Um, up this way will take us to the guild master. And this is the guild master right here. Okay. We want a contract. Always make sure you're on that. Okay. So now, um, now we're going to obviously make sure we're on a difficulty setting, we're not on peaceful. Okay, so what we're going to do with then is, um, actually no, I want that. There we are. Okay, A sticks. Okay, so we're just going to kind of convert this into our room. Most people seem to convert this into their room anyways. Um, we need a crafting table. Okay, um, hang on. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just make some quick tools that we're going to need. Pickaxe, obviously. And a um, wooden sword. Actually, we're going to make two wooden swords. And you'll figure out why we made a second one here. Gather our um, drop sticks. Okay, so... To your first step into progressing into the kingdom um, is you battle one of these guards. And that's pretty simplistic, especially if you know how to use a sword. 
If you don't, then you might have some troubles, but we'll get into that part in a little bit. So, um, this is the farmer. Each day you can talk to him and he will give you a lovely piece of bread, which is nice because killing monsters results in gold, so you're going to need food sooner or later. This is the blacksmith. You can buy tons of stuff from this guy. He sells all the stuff, all tools, armors, and so forth. So you know what we're going <laughs> to... Um, yeah, you got... I, okay, well, you know, um... <clears throat> I have the money, so I'm just going to upgrade to iron tools, um, but that's all I'm going to upgrade to for now. Okay, so we got an iron tool set now, but we're still going to need our wooden sword, so. I'm not sure you know what we can just, um, get rid of this wooden pickaxe. Okay, put that there, that there, that there. Okay, so, now that you know the main characters, um, I'll show you the cook later. Um, these guys you see wandering around, these guys are guards. So, um, what we're going to do here is we're quickly going to hand, um, now see, when you right-click them, greetings, you seem like a tough fighter, give me a wooden sword and let's have a sparring match. Okay, so we're going to do exactly that. We're going to kind of quickly back away from the guy, though. Okay, pretty easy to kill. Um, so now, we're going to go check him with the Guildmaster, and we can check our progression bar. And it should have moved. Okay, see, we gained very little progress, but we gained some progress. Um, and I believe another way to gain progress is also via killing mobs and so forth. Um, it's kind of a tedious way to do it, and I believe at one point I saw a comment on a video like this. It was kind of them, like an exploration video of this, and just them going throughout the game. But um, I believe I saw a comment saying, like, you have to kill over... Um, at least two, three hundred of each mob or something like that. Um, I'm not really sure about that. <laughs> It'd be pretty freaking scary if that was the case. Um, anyway, so we're going to quick sleep and make it night time. Because, yeah. So, um, wait for night. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, so, um, quickly here, sorry. Okay, so, now we're going to head out, and we're going to start on the process of, um, killing some mobs. Looks like my, whoa, zombie? Zombie, zombie? Where's the zombie? I hear something. Where are you, zombies? Oh, there you are. Okay, and as you can tell, it drops these little gold thingies, which are gold coins. Um, get rid of you. <coughs> Let's see here. Not a whole lot of mobs out. Kind of. Oh, creepers. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so, um, we leveled up. Huzzah! Okay, so, um, we're gonna put our skills towards melee, because mostly mob killing is done in this.
but basically yeah you just kind of go through and you kill mobs and so forth um pretty basic process but that's how you gain gold coins whoa stupid skeleton shooting at me